Hey what's up guys welcome back to Binging with Howard. For this week we're taking a look at the definitive Jacques Tati, the 5 volume book set digging deep into the legendary French filmmaker slash performer and one of the most important figures in the history of cinema, Jacques Tati. Published by Tashin or however you pronounce that, within lies unprecedented access to his archive essays, screenplays, interviews, photographs, notes, and many other production material. This set is also available in a collector's edition, apparently limited to only 112 copies where it comes with a better box or something, some exclusive toolkit, a build your own film set of Mononcle, and other knickknacks and items. I didn't get that one because one, I don't have the money, and two, it was already sold out. Obviously, I haven't even opened the thing because I wanted to do it on camera, that way I get the content and I get to show it off using a razor knife blade cutting thing to make a clean cut on each side of the parcel. Be gentle, you don't want to hurt the box that travel miles just to get to your door to make you happy. And as you can see, this is what the inside looks like. Get rid of the paper snake that seems to go on forever and ever and ever. Oh. There we go. Gently take the box out. And there you have it, the Tati box set. Cut out the extra fat and silver skin so it doesn't become chewy in the reading process so you can actually open the book itself. And like everything you pull out of the oven, we're gonna let it sit for at least 4 hours ideally overnight. I personally like to let it sit for as long as I cooked it and in this case, it took 7 days to get here so I'm just gonna let it sit for 7 days. This is going to relax the juices inside and let all of the volumes get to know each other. Once we're done, it's time for the opening process on a non-flowered work surface. Carefully take out the first volume. As you can see, it is the thickest one in the set with the darkest cover of them all. This is because when in transit, the box was left on one side for the entire duration causing the weight of the set to unevenly distribute. Opening up the first page is dark blue like the color blue, label shoots in a font you can barely read in a very hard cover with a soft and shiny feeling just like me. This volume contains stills from all 6 feature films from The Big Day to Parade. The extra flavor of this volume is that it works as a great tool to study cinematography and framing. Once finished glancing at some of the best shots from Tati's filmography, we're going to move on to the second volume. This volume is titled right which includes the complete screenplays including the unproduced one, Confusion, and the 2010 The Illusionist, illustrated by pages from Tati's original drafts. Opening up, the first page is a bright, saturated pink, just like the color pink. Going through the screenplays, it has the scanned version of the screenplay which was written in French which I cannot read unfortunately, but thankfully they included a translated version laying out scene by scene including camera directions and transitions, except for the big day which I'm not entirely sure why. The plus of this volume really lies on the script of confusion which you really can't find anywhere else. We're going to slowly put this back to the box before pulling out volume 3 titled Works is a comprehensive survey of his life and work. Opening up the first page is sky blue which means it is ready to dig in. What does a comprehensive survey mean you ask? It shows you pictures from Tati's personal life from when he was a kid all the way to his death while also giving you contacts and some behind the scene information of all of his work. Like breaking down where the idea of Mr. Hewlock came from or the production breakdowns, it digs a lot deeper into his personal life and for extra flavor and to make this set as expensive as possible, it really shows you his inspirations behind every choice he made on screen. We're gonna slowly put away this one before taking out the fourth volume title Explores, which includes essays on some of the most important themes in his films. Opening up the first page is a bright orangey color for that citrus smell. It means it's best to open this during golden hours. This one goes from his choices when it comes to production designs, character designs, and even sound designs. I would love to dig into this one to see if anything lines up with anything I said in the spotlight I did on him a couple of months ago, but we're gonna let it cool completely. In the meantime, we're gonna pull out the fifth and final volume of the set titled Speaks. This is the thinnest one out of the five volumes because it removed its 3.5mm jack, which is just a collection of Tati's quotes, excerpt from interviews, and a previously unpublished memoir by the man himself. The first page is in a dark, army green. This is done specifically so when people come to your house in the middle of the night to steal your fifth volume of a book set, you can simply open it up and it will instantaneously become camouflage. Alongside set photos and behind the scene information, the text show you which particular film or moment he is referring to. Carefully put everything back to the set and it is ready for whenever you decide to take a bite out of it. Be careful as it is very heavy and that's all there is to it. The first volume complements the second volume, the second volume complements the third, the 
the third complements the fourth, the fourth complements the fifth, and the entire set complements me. And I gotta say, without even reading it, this is already joining the Clean Page Club.